juvenile illegal migrants gang members behind robbery spree stay out of jail due to aid. Trent the Araga, the Venezuelan prison gang, ha, whose name means train, train of Aragua, is putting the local in locomotive with a New York City robbery spree that sees its young members repeatedly stay out of jail. Juvenile illegal migrants in the gang have been attacking people in the Big Apple's famed Times Square and other landmark locations, but remain free due to the Empire State's lenient laws on juvenile crime. According to the New York Detective Bureau Assistant Chief Jason Sabino, it's shocking to say the least, we've seen a progression with this group, Sabino told. Tuesday morning. The suspects, some as young as 11, are being housed in the former Russo Hotel, which the city converted into a migrant shelter after an influx of border crossings thousands of miles away, the New York Post reported earlier this week. The suspect gang members have been positioning pictures and videos of their guns online, according to investigators. We know they have access to guns, evident by the fact that they've done gunpoint robberies and they have been brazen enough to showcase pistols in and around their social media, Salvin told the paper. The Roosevelt Hotel closed its door on 45th Street in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic, before reopening as a migrant shelter. Nearby, the row New York Hotel is in a similar state. Outside both, loitering migrants have been photographed taking drugs and alcohol as a migrant fueled crime wave overtook the city. This is the first time formulated group that we found where this group of about 20 individuals that impact format hang out every day, they post on social media and they boost about their crew, Savino added. You see little pockets in and around Times Square and in and around the shelters. The 20 members of a subset of the gang calling itself Los Diablos de Lat 42 in reference to New York's 42nd Street have been arrested in connection with 15 separate crimes according to Savino. When they first came, they were actually encouraged not to commit a crime, so they stuck to pickpockets. Then they graduated to snatches soon after scooter crime, Savino told Fox News. Why? Because the original criminality did not have consequences. He blamed New York's lenient treatment of juveniles and even adult criminal suspects for failing to deter the gang from getting worse. The individuals that actually engage in that criminality become empowered, he said. The worst attacks, he said, are called wolf pack robberies, when five or more suspects surround a tourist and shake them down for their belongings. Some involve guns, while others involve knives. Despite the uphill battle, keeping juvenile suspects locked up, Savino said his team continues to make arrests and gather evidence. We are labeled the greatest detectives in the world for good reason, he told Fox News, Brian Kilmey. They come back with that frustration. What do we do? We regroup, we build even better cases. Nearly 200,000 asylum-seeking migrants have been arrived in the Big Apple over the past year, according to the city officials. More than half are expected to have their claims denied. But until that happens, they are technically considered in the US legally. As migrants continue to pour across the southern border, the train, the Araga prison gang, has expanded from its base in Venezuela into numerous US cities, including New York and Chicago. The gang has also been linked to small town crimes, including in Aurora, Colorado and Athens, Georgia where the suspect in the murder of a nursing student, Lakin Riley, has been linked to suspected members.